All right, Coach, uh, heck of a ball game by the Montana Grizzlies there. Just your, your first thoughts after coming back home with the month, uh, the Stein. Well, what a, what a good game. You know, it was a great game to be a part of. Um, Idaho fought their tails off. They're a good football team. Um, the crowd was awesome. I hope they keep showing up. It's so cool. such a cool atmosphere to play in. Thought our guys really embraced that and enjoyed the enjoyed the night. It's good to come out of here with the win. How did, how did it feel to run run off the sidelines there with the victory? Well, winning's always good. There's no such thing as a bad win. And obviously, I mean, these guys are ranked number three in the nation. It's it's good to come in here and it's back to back uh, road wins against ranked opponents. First time in since 2000. I think so. Something like that. So good on our uh, good on our team. I uh, I like our team. You guys just walk us through your vantage point on that last play, the play from Kale. You guys kept yelling "sackless no more." Just what was it like to see him make that play, and you know, just what what, what were you seeing there? Well, we're really happy for him because uh, we've been we've been getting on his case a little bit to go win, and, and he did. And big, I mean, that was a huge play. Um, he just beat the guy that they had. They had a, it wasn't a bust in protection or anything. They had him protected. He just won and knocked the ball out. Obviously, he's from uh, you know, less than an hour from here. So, good, very happy for, for kids. What do you say about your defense just buckling down in that second half as Idaho's kind of chipping away? They get the ball with less than a minute to go. Just what do you say about the defense? Yeah, well, you know, we couldn't get the quarterback on the ground. He's slick. Um, he's got great speed. Um, you know, every time they needed to move the chains, he, he, he moved him with his feet. And, uh, you know, he really played his tail off. Uh, on every scoring drive they had, it was a big part of him scrambling and making it happen. And we he, he slipped out of tackles. And he's just a good player, and they're, they're fortunate to have him. He's a really, really, really he, – he, you know, if I'm them, I'm proud of that kid. He kept, he kept his uh, – he kept his team in the game all night. Were you expecting them to go for it so often on fourth down? And just what can you say about your team's ability to force those turnovers on those? Drives? Well, they were they were desperate. They they have not played from behind, um, and they needed to go for it on fourth down. You know, the one on fourth and four back in their own end with that one was left ten or eleven minutes. I was a little surprised they did go for that one. They got it by a by a hair. Um, yeah, we kind of once once we were up sixteen. Um, I mean, our, our discussion was there four down the rest of the way, so we, we were not shocked by that. How important was that just to start, getting them to play from behind and you guys having the lead pretty much the entire game? I guess the entire game. Yeah, the entire game. Um, they've not been behind to start the game, and uh, it was a point of emphasis for us this week. We talked about it a lot. We, uh, we talked about how we were going to play the early game. Um, the one thing that did surprise us was that they uh, deferred on the – on the opening kickoff, that was uh, new, and uh, that surprised us. We just really didn't count on that being the case. But our guys went down, got points on the board, stopped them, went down, got got another touchdown on the board, and all of a sudden things were uh, they were going to be harder for Idaho for sure, and they they just couldn't quite get there. You guys scored on the first four possessions you had. Did you think that first half was the best half of offense you guys have played this year? I watched the film. I don't know. I mean, it was pretty good. That final offensive drive for you guys, you have to go for it on fourth down. Just walk us through your thoughts on that, and you know, try and, rather than try and pin them, just yeah, go for it. Yeah, it was fourth and two, and, and we were on the we were in 33-yard line, I think, somewhere in there. Um, didn't want to punt it, you know. Guy, the punters aren't perfect, you know. If he sends it in the end zone, we gain 13 yards, and we had a chance to end the game with with a gain of two, and we didn't get it. We actually had a timeout, you know. We called timeout and and uh, tried to hard count him. Called timeout. We changed our call a couple times in the in the huddle. Decided to go with uh, with the quarterback run, and uh, they stuffed it. So good on them. What what do you think of your quarterback tonight? I thought he did a good job. I thought he did a good job. There's some plays that uh, we could have helped him out a little more, but, but Cliff did a nice job tonight. And how about your kicker? Grant Glasgow came up with some huge kicks. Yeah, Grant's good. I've been saying it all along. And, um, those, were, those were, none of those were uh, gimmies. Um, you know, when we went for two on the one PAT, uh, our signal caller didn't let our guys get set because that was a walk-in too. That would have 
That would have helped having another point there at the end of that thing. You touched on McCoy's ability, but that first half you guys stifled their offense pretty well. Like, what, what were you guys doing? Was it scheme? Like, how were you guys able to maybe limit them after they've been having so much success this year? Well, it wasn't all that much different in the second half. I mean, they made a play here or there. They couldn't run it, you know. Um, they couldn't. They want to be balanced. They couldn't be. Um, so, you know, where they got all their yard, rushing yards was him scrambling. So he was, he was, he was special. I thought he was outstanding tonight. He, he kept, I mean, he, he had that thing, he lifted that thing up like Atlas holding up the world. It seemed like, it, it seemed like the guys really kind of enjoyed the, the atmosphere, the students kind of barking at them and knowing this team's head coach, I'm not really surprised. So what did you think about how you guys kind of handled kind of the, the mentality coming into this? Well, like I always say, it's no fun to play an amp. It's no fun to play an empty, quiet stadium. It, I thought the atmosphere in here was awesome. I was just flat terrific. Um, glad they all showed up. It was really fun to have this thing sold out and loud. Just uh, awesome. I hope, they, I hope they keep doing it. I mean, good for Idaho. And, you know, the, their kids, their students were into it. It, it was really fun. What's the, chal what's, the, what's the challenge when you get up a couple scores and then you kind of have the decisions of, like, you know, how aggressive do we want to be? On offense, like for Idaho, I mean, you know what they're going to do, but like it kind of puts you in some situations where you kind of got to really decide how you want to play it. And how did you think that you guys did handle that? Well, it depends, you know, with their style and then wanting to want to run the play clock down. You know, they're not going to be too fast. So you, you know, the game's going, they're behind it. The game's going to be short, so you don't want to you don't want to lengthen the game yourself. Um, and the thing that's going to thing that's probably going to derail you the most would be turnovers, and, and uh, so you got to take care of the ball. And, not put the ball in jeopardy. Um, we did a few times. We had we had some big plays that we didn't make in the second half that could have really helped us get away and make this less interesting at the end. A couple more. How well, big on, is this? On the, on the offensive line, it looked like you guys widened your splits a little bit. Can you just talk about the performance of them and just controlling the line of scrimmage in general? Well, I didn't, I didn't watch them much, but uh, um, my uh, impression uh, was that they came off the ball and played really hard. You guys are ending the bye week now with a win like this. Just how do you harness this momentum, take some time to heal, and kind of get it ready for two weeks from now? Well, we can't. We're in an open date. The only time you want to open dates when you you're banged up. You know, we're ro we're, we're, we're kind of rolling a little bit right now. We won three in a row and two on the road, and just beat the number three team in the country. Hopefully, we just trade spots with them in the polls. But uh, you know, open date comes when it comes, and we'll make we'll make good use of it. Whatever whatever that means, we'll see how we are. Look at it tomorrow. And watching your guys just celebrate with the little brown sign and, and you get to touch the jug. Tell me, what's that moment like for you and your team? Well, you know, everybody in this organization, there's a standard uh, to play. Everybody's supposed to hold uh, uphold that standard. Everybody here is competitive, and everybody here loves to win. So um, if you love to win, you probably act like you love, love it when you do win a game like that. Thanks, guys. All right, Levi, congratulations on the win. Montana pulls it out. Uh, first of all, just how does it feel your initial reaction after that win? It, it feels so good. It's so exciting. Uh, don't want to brag. I played at the Kibbe Dome three times, three three and oh. It feels amazing. I The best teammates in the world, surrounded by best guys, the players and coaches. It's awesome. It seemed like you guys kind of relished the – Kind of the the underdog role and yeah. the and the trash. Like, how much did like that kind of feed into you guys wanting to, you know, prove yourselves today? Um, I mean, we kind of played into it a little bit. I I would say that anybody in our locker room that we ever consider ourselves an underdog. Um, so I don't know. We we portrayed it to to the media and to whoever whoever thought that we were. But in just within our own walls, we 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 didn't think that we were the underdog. Through the, the last couple sequences, I mean, they're they're rolling on offense. They get it, but then you back down the two point conversion, and then you get the the sack shirt fumble. So, just how did it go in your eyes? Um, I'm I'm not sure if this is live, but our defense has <laughs> man. Um, you know, they 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 gave us they, they gave us a couple of shots where we bowed up. Uh, we we bended. We didn't break. We we did what we need to to win the game. Boy, boy, is exciting. And you guys have held Idaho in check offensively two years in a row. I mean, how are you guys able to do that? Um, I think everybody, just like I talked when, when we talked earlier during the week, we all uh, made a clear effort to do our 111th and not more. And that really helped the whole team just do their one. Their one, yeah. How much do you enjoy kind of first sellout for them? You kind of got, you guys ruined the party for them. How much do you enjoy kind of doing that? First of all, it was, it was louder here. It was way louder than I thought it would be. So that was 
that was really cool. But ruining their, their homecoming, you know, there's nothing that's much more fun than that. You guys are getting a lot of pressure throughout the game. How were you guys able to do that? Uh, just being fast, relentless, and violent and trying to get to the quarterback. How much did you guys expect them to go for it on fourth down so much? And this was the mentality uh, on that. Yeah, you, you, we kind of expected them to, to do that. You know, they're, they're, they're a good team. They think that they're good, so going for it on, on fourth down, we kind of expected that they would do that. But uh, as a defense, you kind of got to take that as a disrespectful sign when a team thinks that they can go for it on fourth down and convert. So, I mean, you know, we, we just kind of tried to put an end to, to that. I heard you guys in the huddle saying Kale's first sack, sackless yeah. no more, basically. Just what can you say about him coming up with such a big play like that? Oh, end? huge. The, he's from, from, from Coeur d'Alene, an Idaho kid, to make the game-winning play. So, so surreal. Kale works his butt off day, day in and day out. It's really cool to see. Really guys, cool to see that success. That second half, you guys just buckled down. I mean, they were kind of coming back a little bit. So just like you mentioned, that belief, things like that. How did you guys keep that, especially as things were kind of getting a little dicey there? Uh, I mean, you know, we we just play for each other, you know, so not not much more to it than, than that. You, you give your all on every play because of the guys that are to the left and right of you. You guys kind of came down to that field goal they opted not to kick at the beginning of the third quarter. Uh, Ryder gets that pick on the batted yeah. ball. Just what can you say about the way you guys stood there, and what were you guys looking for on that fourth down? Uh, just like I said, the bend and don't break. You know, we, we made a big play when we had to. Well, Weasel Knuckles McGee, Ryder Meyer coming up big there. Uh, you know, just really cool. You guys look just so much different than, you know, going back to, like, the NAU game uh, on offense and on defense. How are you guys feeling about the team? What does a win like this, especially going into a bye, kind of do just for the, the feeling of the program? You know, our goal has been to improve from week to week. I think that we've been doing a, a good job of that. The last co couple games have indicated it's never pretty for us, but, you know, we, we found a way to, to get wins when, when we need to. The NAU game was was ugly, but, you know, we bounced back, yeah, making the most of our weeks. I love that moment right there at the end. A couple more. The ball right there at the end with uh, your senior teammates just holding the stein. Uh, Brad, Braxton and Flink, uh, you know, we've been roommates for, well, I've been in college for six years. We've been roommates We've been roommates for five years. Those guys are my best friends, my brothers. Uh, to be able to take that picture with them, a blessing. It's awesome. You guys, um, just a, a statement win like this, you know, like you mentioned, or I guess, sorry, pivot my question. Uh, just the offense as a whole, that start, obviously you play defense, but what was it like to see the guys' offense kind of come out firing? It's 17 nothing lead that had to make you feel good coming out the field. When, when the offense is clicking, we kind of feel like we're invincible. You know, as as a defense, we we know that we're going to do our jobs. So when the offense is, is scoring a lot of points, you know, we, we, we feel like it's really tough to beat us. You also feel like Talladega Knights. Like I really don't know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I've been holding here. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just Levi, just obviously you guys are heading to the bye week now. Yeah. Just how do you guys carry it? You're going to get some time to rest, everything like yeah. that. But how do you utilize this next week and, and keep this momentum after a win like this? Yeah, you know, uh, going to take it to, to heal. There's some guys that are banged up, you know, so you just got to take a, a couple days off. But, uh, you know, an extra week to focus on, on your next opponent, that always helps. I... I don't think we'll lose our, our momentum at all, at all. I think we'll keep it rolling, knowing the guys we have in the locker room. So I'm, I'm excited for the bye week and excited to get back into the season the following week. You guys, the win, how does it feel to get to win after that big, uh, big play? Awesome game. It was fun. It was exciting to play in. Uh, came right down to the end like that, like you're saying. And I'm glad Levi was there to pick it up. Can you walk us through it from your end, what you were seeing? Uh, yeah, they, gave, they called and play for me, and uh, I made it what I could, did my best. And, then Levi was always there, and I trust the whole defense. Great coverage in the back end, and let us uh, up front kind of ball today. You guys, they keep they keep shouting sackless no more. You got to hold the the stein at the at midfield. Just what's it like to be celebrated by your team like this after a play like that? Oh, I love the guys. Love the guys. Yeah, I've been getting crap for a while, so it's uh, <laughs> fun to get rid of that. Um, mostly from the coaches, but I got to. I got to talk to them and jaw back at them a little bit. So a little payback, much overdue. You're an Idaho guy. Just what's it like to come in here and get a big win like this over them? It's great, man. I, I, I got offered here out of high school. So uh, these are the ones that really matter to me. You know, all the ones that uh, I hold close to my chest, kind of. And I, uh, I'm glad we got the dub today. What was it like playing in this atmosphere? It seemed like you guys kind of enjoyed the coming in and the, the you know, the chippiness, the talking. You guys kind of enjoyed the, the moment. Oh, yeah, we live for that. You know, we do it every day in practice to each other. So when uh, the fans can add on to it, we just we thrive. So 
it's uh, it's always good to do that. Never seen the Kibbe Dome like this. I've, I've gone to a lot of Idaho games, played here a couple of times. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy environment, fun, just like our place. Back and forth of this game, I mean, how were you guys able to emerge and come out on top? Man, our offense did their thing, and uh, the defense held strong at the end. Um, we definitely have stuff we need to work on. It wasn't pretty, as you guys know, but, uh, yeah, I mean, just looking forward to next time we get to go out and hopefully correct some of our mistakes. Seems like you guys have a, an unbelievable sense of belief right now. I mean, how, how do you describe that within this team? Man, uh, I don't know, just faith. We pray together after the game. We pray together before the game. Yeah, we believe in our, each other. We believe in ourselves. And, uh, yeah, thank the good Lord. You guys are heading into bye week now. How do you guys kind of harness this momentum, heal up, and get ready for Northern Colorado in two weeks? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, every game's been close. It's not like we've had a stress-free week, so it'll be good for our, at least our hearts, you know? Like, we'll get a couple years back, hopefully, in the break. Yeah. I think a lot of people might have wanted to kind of, you know, write off the Montana Grizzlies going into this game. What is it like knowing, uh, hey, you guys aren't, aren't going anywhere just yet? Yeah, I think the big sky is just crazy like that. I've been seeing it for four or five years now, so uh, you never know who's going to do what. You just know the Montana Grizzlies are going to do well. And, uh, yeah, playing hard, playing well. Hopefully keep that rolling.